John Locke. Anybody know who John Locke was? Of course, he lived in the 17th century, so you know, not that you knew him. But he was a Puritan. His parents were Puritans. You know, the Puritans are the ones who came to America. Remember, they got to Santa Maria, and they went there, and they came to America, landed on, in uh, Plymouth Harbor and all that stuff, and, and they built their stuff. He was a Puritan. He was also a philosopher, a scientist. He was one of the greatest minds of his day, 1700s, 1600s, excuse me, 17th century. And this is what John Locke wrote in one of his papers that influenced our founding fathers tremendously and influenced the pulpits of America. Remember, the pulpits of America were preaching against the government, against the king all the time, telling people you have a right to disobey, you have a right to dissent. They're breaking English law and making new laws, and they are confusing us, and, and we have a right to dissent. So now John Locke says this. There is no difference between an unjust government and a thief. And I'll tell you, every time that they raise your taxes and they do these different things like this, they're thieves. They're thieves. There's no difference between an unjust government and a thief. Just as we should fight off a thief and have the right to do so, we have the right to fight off an unjust government. Now, this thinking is what percolated through the founding fathers' minds. This thinking got them going. Now, here is a final example. One of the best examples of the principle is by Peter, who said, you should be in subjection. But again, when you have the context and understanding of the whole arrested, and then they're told, after examination goes on, they're told, chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, they are commanded, you are not allowed to speak about Jesus, you're not allowed to teach about Jesus, and that's... And what did Peter and John say? Whether it's to obey you, you can decide, but we must obey God. They were saying, we don't care what you think. You may think that you got the right decision here, but we know God has called us to preach the gospel, and we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to disobey your commands. So they broke the law. Every day they talked about Jesus. From that day on, they broke the law. You have to have the full counsel of God in your mind, okay? How many of you know Thomas Paine? Thomas Paine. Right, he wrote a book called Common Sense, many other books too. And, and Thomas Paine, again, was a Revolutionary War figure, very influential in the Revolutionary War times. And this is what he said, and I want to finish with these thoughts, a few thoughts here. He said this, these are the times that try men's souls. You've heard that saying, many of you. These are the times that try men's souls. And beloved, we're in the times that try men's souls. There's hard decisions to make right now. There are causes and there are things, as Edgar's saying, is there not a cause? There are things that are going on that we need to have decisions about. But that's not the whole quote. The rest of it goes on to say this. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis of the revolution, shrink from the service of their country. He's saying the summer soldier, the guy that only wants to be a soldier when it's summertime, he only wants to be a soldier. When, I don't want to be a soldier in the winter. I don't want to trudge through the winter and the snow and the, and the rain and the sleet and all the stuff like that. And the sunshine patriot, oh, it's a nice day. I'm a patriot. On a cloudy day, oh, I'm not such a patriot. You see, he's saying these people will not stand up in the, in the day that they need to stand up to fight against the enemy that they've declared they've got to fight against. They're summer, they're summer soldiers and sunshine patriots, and they will shrink like a shrinking violet. And I want to tell you, compromising Christians will do the same thing. Compromising Christians will do the same thing. They will not stand up in the evil day. If 